I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. No, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! My lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out, if you do not feel ready. This is injustice, my lord! Injustice! That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? As Maester, I cannot support mutilation. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, gods, no. I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here, the Bracer of the Sentinel, the Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. You're all worthless and weak. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but... You honour Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. Someday, I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. 
Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Sword up! Swing left! Barry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs Royland, could hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet. Up where they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, if you ask me the way you handled that thief, it was the right thing to do. Yes, my lord. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so... Your words are wise, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord. I will consider them as I make my choice. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord, but are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. I must be firm. I'm not a boy anymore, and there is too much at stake. The Lord's work can harden a man. It's true. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. I think you're wrong, Uncle. You're young, and you still have much to learn. We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Yeah. 
I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him? How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? I did what I had to. I had no choice. You always have choices. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgement. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage. You had your reasons, but nonetheless, you undermined my authority. I can't have that happen again. It won't, my lord. You have my word. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. That's what's necessary to keep the house safe, then we must. Aye, a hard choice, but it's what has to be done. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Well, not entirely, I suppose, but I'm still considering you for the job. I see. Then understand this is not to be taken lightly, my lord. Not at all. Of course. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. 